Hey everybody, 8-Bit Josh here, and welcome back to Planet Zoo and Wildlife World, and I uh, have another update for you, and got some really cool things to look at. Hopefully you guys will think it's cool as well. Uh, but first and foremost, here we have a brand new habitat since the last episode, and this is the, of course, peafowl habitat, as you can probably tell from the cool statues we have there. Um, but this one was a lot of fun to do, and actually... Uh, so give you kind of an idea of where we are. So we zoom out. So here is this is all the like Asian area of the zoo. And uh, we decided to actually bring it over this way a little bit uh, just so that we could add the peafowls here. So that's what we did. The Trails of Africa arch was moved back this way. And uh, yeah, so the peafowls, super cool. I'm glad that we finally got these guys added to the zoo because they're such fun animals to have. And uh, you can also have, you can make it a walk-in habitat, which is really cool. Uh, we do have a few other habitats around the zoo that are walk-in like this. Um, but yeah, this one was just really cool with the uh, oh, I just noticed the water's getting a little dirty. I guess we don't have a water filter. Um, I'll have to add that, but uh, it's it's a pretty simple habitat for the most part. You know, it's just has the has just like the path just circles around it. Uh, but the the gate was really fun to do. I thought it was like it's fairly simple, really, but I think it's pretty effective. I love these peafowl statues. Those are a lot of fun and it just worked really well to place them on the top on each side there. Uh, I also used the statues for the information board. So we made this sort of like custom information board display here, which is really cool. Simple and effective. Also with the statues. I did a little sort of custom framing with the uh, do not feed the animals sign. So it's a little bit more fitting with the area but yeah it's it's really this is it, there's not a whole lot to it like I said it is fairly simple but I think it works really well one of my favorite things actually is the fact that occasionally you'll see you'll see them uh, come up on the rocks and stuff and like especially over here like it's just a lot of fun to watch them kind of interact I love that that might be one of my favorite things about Planet Zoo is how the animals actually interact with scenery and stuff like that. Uh, I also did something that's a little different than what we normally do. I gave it their shelter more of a, I would almost say like realistic shelter in that something you'd see in a real zoo where the shelters are really just very plain sort of concrete structures. Uh, and really, that's so zookeepers can easily clean the habitat. So, you know, if this were real life, obviously this doesn't happen in game, but the zookeeper would would come in. They would probably get rid of all of this hay. You know, they sweep up. They would probably hose the whole thing down and then throw down some fresh hay. So I, I wanted to kind of give that same idea to this. Uh, that's just a that's a faux door. It's not a real door. Um, but I wanted to give that look and the building itself too is really fairly simple, kind of more industrial looking and like maybe it's used for other things than just being a shelter for the peafowls. Uh, we do have a power generator back here. So you, there you can see we have a little power generator back here, which Maybe I'll have to add a water filter back here as well. And then just gave it like a fake little staff only door so that the mechanics can go back there. Uh, but I think that turned out really cool. It it was a great way to fill out this corner because uh, I was for a while kind of wondering like, you know, what are we going to do in this corner? I don't know if we have enough animals to add to fill up this area because we also have this spot which is uh, we decided during a live stream uh, which by the way if you aren't following me on Twitch the link to my channel is always down in the description highly recommend you uh, coming and hanging out with us 
Uh, I stream Planet Zoo every Saturday and it's always a lot of fun. We especially, we love uh, the interactivity. Uh, chat always gets involved with like uh, ideas and suggestions. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, but we decided that we're gonna do sort of a food, sort of a mixed food court plaza outdoor exhibit area. So we're gonna put some exhibit animals out here. Uh, we're gonna have some shops and like some, like a little nice seating area. So that'll be really cool. Um, we also added a new uh, staff area. They they maintain the peafowls as well as eventually the stuff that we're going to put here. And again, this is this is fairly simple. It's pretty standard. If you've w ever watched any of our other episodes, you've seen what we do with the little staff areas. Uh, it looks really nice. It's kind of like it's back there, it's hidden. The guests can really only see it as they're walking by this, but otherwise everything is pretty covered up, which is cool. I also decided uh, to change the path here from the wood one to the gravel, because we use we switched it to the gravel, if you remember the last episode over here, and then over here it switched back to wood and then it was wood all the way here i decided to just make it the gravel path all the way down and i think it looks better uh i think this is new since the last episode i just made a simple little looney bloom stand here actually copied this building we have it over where do we have it it's over here there it is <laughs> yeah, so uh, I just took this building, like the the shell, and copied it and moved it over here because I thought it fit. It, they're both of those. That's how big the Africa section of the zoo is. <laughs> is I can have it like way over there and way over here. But um, so yeah, this is this spot is new. Added like a nice little seating area here. It's very simple. Um, you know, just maybe guests need a place to sit is there there's a lot of walking going on in wildlife world and i think uh everybody just needs like a nice little seating area every once in a while and then across so going back to the peafowls across the path from those we also added a uh, just a really simple restroom here and then as well as an atm had to have a power generator as well because there's like one little small section over here that didn't have power. I also really, really like this flower bed. I think that turned out really cool. And then if we want to look at it, we can look at it at nighttime. So we did uh, just some like really simple lighting, uh, lit up the peafowls on the statues or the peafowl statues. We also did some lighting underneath the flower beds, which I think was kind of kind of cool because it gives them like almost like the flowers are blue but at nighttime it looks like they're glowing almost right like am i crazy they look like they're they're kind of glowing i don't know i thought that was really cool we also just added lots of lamp posts around here i added some lights under here as well just to because it was actually kind of dark and i was like well we want to make sure guests aren't tripping over these rocks so i just put some lights here and make them look like they're kind of kind of cut into the rocks uh, another thing I did speaking of lighting is I noticed that we didn't have any lights down here so all these lamp posts these are all brand new and I think they looks a lot better now obviously especially going over a bridge you want to make sure the path is nicely lit up so we did that as well and let's see I don't think there's anything else up here. All this we've already looked at. We may not have seen this stuff at nighttime, so I mean we can give it a quick, quick little look. I do. I really, really like this with the uh, hanging like string lights under there. I think that looks really, really nice. Very cozy. 
and then we saw this uh the last episode and yeah so then the only other thing we have done let's uh switch it back to daytime is we started working on the train station over here so this is the last station that we had to theme for our uh, huge train line that goes around the entire outside of the zoo so if you recall the last few episodes so the train line uh it, it starts here i mean it, it's a loop so it could start anywhere but we're starting here and then it goes all the way around here we have another station here down here around and then back around so yeah this is this is the last one we have to work on and uh so this is just sort of a preview we have we added like a little plaza so we're gonna have some benches here for sitting and then of course we have a hot dog squad and a uh, pip shop smoothies which is really nice as well as a toilet block but this is obviously just a work in progress uh, we still haven't added like trees and stuff we'll probably put some trees along here to kind of block the view that way and then obviously the train station itself uh, is not complete but I wanted to give you guys a quick look this is what we did over here and it's looking pretty nice so far so once that's all done this area is going to come together much more nicely and all just it's gonna look really good and then I think uh so those things here the train station and plaza we're doing here in this spot here that's all we have left in wildlife world you guys and I think it's gonna be done at that point oh one other thing I just noticed uh we finally themed this island it's been sitting here just like a blank piece of land sitting out in the middle of this lake so finally just did a little bit of theming and it looks really good we added some topiaries because it seemed like a good spot to add those so we have a guy there we have a little hedgehog there i put a uh this you'd probably never see this in real life but i put one of the bird topiaries in the branch there it's kind of like a little easter egg then we got some bunnies hanging around and then we got some squirrels but I did this because, well, one, it needed it, but I also, I wanted to make sure that we didn't cover up the uh, African elephant dome. Because, you know, one of the entire point of putting it right there is so that guests can see it when they're walking in. So a guest is coming from right here. They're just walking into the zoo. They get like a sweet shot of it and they're like, whoa, that building looks sweet. I want to go over there. So we have the trees there. You still get a nice view of the dome. And uh, yeah, that all turned out really cool. So super happy with that. But uh, yeah, so that's everything we've done so far since the last episode. Like I said, uh, if you ever want to hang out with us while we're building live, uh, make sure you give my Twitch channel a follow. And you can come hang out with us, chat with us, and offer up your suggestions live as we're building it's it's a lot of fun so i hope to see you guys there so as always be sure to leave your comments suggestions and feedback down below i am 8 josh and thanks for watching see ya